<laughs> For years, when someone reached the age of 50, they were considered over the hill. Nice. <laughs> But one local man is nowhere near over the hill. He's actually entering the octagon for a record time. For more on Shannon Rich, we send it over to Richard Sines. They call him Shannon the Cannon Rich, and the cannon has been firing for a long time. We're talking about starting out back in the 90s when mixed martial arts was just getting on people's radar. As a matter of fact, when Shannon Rich started, he was a bare knuckle brawler. But now, he's way more than that, in and out of the ring. Barefoot and in the backyard is where we find Shannon Rich on this day. I'm just in a natural resort, man. It's, it's pretty cool. But back in the day, it was bare knuckled and brawling for the kid they called Shannon the Cannon. This Russia belt was uh, uh, in 2000, no weight class, bare knuckle. And I asked the guy, so hey, you know, what are the rules? Because I'm used to rules meeting. Oh, sure. And the guy says, uh, no biting. I go, <laughs> no biting? He goes, okay, you can bite, but, but no biting. <laughs> But this is 1999. The UFC had only had started in 93. So this is very, very early on in MMA. It's had to be like 90, 95-ish. Do you remember your first fight? Yeah, 1991, I would go down to uh, Nogales and uh, we fought in Plaza de Toros in Mexico. And then at that time, it is bare knuckle, no rules, knockout and or submission to win. But they'd have the chicken fights, they'd have the dog fights, and then the people would fight. And the more people he fought, the more belts he brought home. So I have 32 belts, eight world titles, I had 236 professional MMA fights. Um, I'm, I'm uh, 26 and three bare knuckle boxing. Um, obviously, I have a whole bunch of jujitsu matches, and I probably couldn't even count. Probably over 200 jujitsu matches. My favorite title is the BKFC Bare Knuckle Boxing Heavyweight Championship, and uh, this is this is my baby right here because bare knuckle is, is so dear to my heart. But before Shannon had the heart to fight. Believe it or not, Rich was bullied as a kid. I was literally the smallest kid in school, so I got picked on every single day, man. It, it, it got to the point that actually in seventh grade, I was gonna commit suicide because I got picked on so bad. That's why I'm such an uh, advocate for anti-bullying. I wanna be that guy that says, hey, you know what? I was the smallest kid in school, and you can be, become something. Just because you're from a small town doesn't mean you are small town. And now, Shannon Rich is not small or small town, and he's not a kid either. 51. I just turned 51 years old. But I kid you not, as Shannon reflects on his past, he's preparing for another fight in the near future. Most guys are looking for retirement, you know, playing Yahtzee with their friends, golfing, you know, retired, chill, hanging out. But uh, fighting is, is, is the way I make my money and uh, I love it. Celebrity theater for Rough Nation. Uh, they called me to ask me if I want to fight. I said, I'll take that fight. So. It's a, it's a pride, you know, I fought in pride, so it's a pride versus UFC main event. And while this may look like a publicity stunt, it's not. Rich actually saves his stunts for Hollywood. I just started doing movies with Mickey Rourke, Michael J. White, Bruce Willis. So I have some films getting ready to come out. And um, yeah, actually, you know what? Actually, the, the one is called The Commando. It's coming out in January. And I like to have like a little premiere. I'll invite you, you can come out, come out to the to premiere, go. do a little red carpet. But before we get to the red carpet, it's one last walk into the ring. It's energizing to me because I want to go out and I want to give it all I got. I mean, obviously when they call me the cannon, you see why they call me the cannon, because I go out and fight. Win, lose, or draw, I put on a fight. I'm either going to knock you out, you're going to knock me out. But who wins that fight is the fans. The fans paid their hard-earned money. They want to see a good fight. And that's what I hope I give them. I hope I just give them a hell of a fight. And hopefully I get my hand ready. Harder. Dig in. <laughs> yep. And Rich got the win, winning by submission with a rear naked choke in the first round. Ending his MMA career with 137 wins, 98 losses, and two draws. That's 237 MMA fights. No one in the world has that many fights. Can't wait to see what he does on the big screen.